I've come to Somerset to learn from award-winning cheesemaker Roger Longman. Hi, Roger. Hi, good to see you. So Jack. what are you making? So this is going to become a brie. Soft, squishy brie packs a smelly punch. But at the extreme end of the cheeseometer, holy moly, is this goat's cheese. So this is a, a washed rind cheese. We wash the cheese every single day to grow a rind on it that is made from bacteria. So the offensive smell is caused by the bacteria? It's given off by the bacteria. The smell is only one of the things the bacteria are producing. They're also altering the taste and texture of the cheese. That's smell explained. Now there's another mystery I want to solve. Why are there holes in Swiss cheese? Again, that's caused by bacteria. What we get in Swiss cheese, you get little spores of hay dust in the milk. It's perfectly safe, there's no harm from it, and that just happens to be the perfect breeding ground for the bacteria to grow on. The bacteria is eating some of the cheese, and it's producing carbon dioxide. There's big holes. Yeah, yeah. They, they do cause a sort of pocket of air, but it can't escape out of the cheese, so it just keeps growing, and then you end up with this bubble inside the cheese. It's pretty amazing. That's absolutely incredible. So far, bacteria seem to be the answer to all my cheesy questions. What is the blue in Stilton? So, the blue is its not a bacteria. It's not. It's a mould. But we do add it with the starter cultures at the start when we make the cheese. Mould is a microscopic fungus. On bread that's gone off, it can be harmful, but most cheese moulds don't produce the same toxins. Like champagne and Parma ham, Stilton has protected status of origin. OK, this is a young Stilton before it's developed the blue mould. You'll see very fine cracks in it, and that's where the blue mould will grow at a later stage. So the spores are already in there, they just haven't grown yet, so they need oxygen. So there's no oxygen in that cheese at the moment, so the mould can't grow on the inside. So how do you get the oxygen in? So we get the oxygen by using a, a stainless steel needle. It's a technique developed at least 200 years ago. And we just basically push it in the cheese at an angle, all the way in. As uh, she blows. So that is like opening the windows. That is opening the window. So that the lovely spores can have enough fuel Absolutely. to start growing. Yeah. When it's about four weeks old, a stilton is pierced around 100 times, which allows the mould spores to spread creating its blue veins and distinctive tang. It is very artistic. It's probably like a snowflake. You could cut it and every time it would be a different pattern. It's beautiful. 